Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me on this look. I was wearing this makeup in one of my recent vlogs and it was so pretty and I loved the way that it looked. So I wanted to do a get ready with me on it. It is very neutral, so I feel like any skin tone can pull this off. I typically wear a lot of really warm to neutral brows and I feel like this is a little bit on the cool side, which is something a little bit different than what I normally do. I'm using the NARS Skin Deep Palette today and just a lot of really good products and I feel like this makeup look is perfect for the upcoming fall season so if you want to see how I achieved this look and all the products that I used just keep watching and side note everything that I mentioned in today's video will be linked down below in the description box so my face is prepped and ready to go. I used the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream to Moisturize, the Shiseido Wrinkle Resist Eye Cream, and then I threw on my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime, and I'm gonna use the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Um, I haven't used this in a while, and I started using it again recently. Since it is such an expensive primer, I kind of try to save it for special days. Like, I don't use it on an everyday basis, just because it's like, expensive you know so I try to save for more special occasions or days that I'm gonna be out for a really long time and not gonna be home to really touch up my face that much I'm gonna use my Dior forever skin foundations they're in a different bottle now and they have like a matte and a kind of hydrating version I guess I haven't tried those yet but this was the original formula I'm mixing shades because I'm in between colors right now my tan from our vacation has definitely faded so I'm going to mix together shades 35 and shades 20 to create my perfect match I did like a full pump of shade 20 and then like half a pump of shade 30 and it's still a little bit lighter than my shoulders but after I bronze and stuff I'll be fine sometimes it's really hard to get a perfect match especially when you go from being super fair to really tan, and then when your tan starts to fade, it's a little bit difficult to get that perfect match sometimes, but thank goodness for bronzing and contouring because it really saves the day. I'm also gonna mix two shades of concealer. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. It's my absolute favorite. I'm mixing shades 1N and 2N. 2N I use when I'm super dark and 1N I use when I'm my natural color. So since I'm kind of in between, I have been mixing the two. I can't put concealer on my chin because, oh, it makes my chin look super duper heavy and I don't like that. My face looks so pale in the viewfinder. Once everything is gone, it'll all match. So I'm going to set my concealer using the Hourglass. This is just their loose translucent powder. Let me find my brush. I always have to go through, like if I wait and don't set right away, I have to go back through and pat out because I've got fine lines under my eyes. And I really need to smooth those out before I set or I'm going to have a bit of a crease throughout the day. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder to set the rest of my face, and this is in shade two. I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera, and then I will be back after. I always use the Dip Brown Pomade in the shade Soft Brown by Anastasia. Not always, but pretty much this has been my number one go-to. There's been a few days here and there where I've used the NYX Brow Pencil, but for the most part, the Dip Brow is my go-to. Brows are done, it is time to bronze, and I'm going to be using the Diffused Bronze Light from Hourglass. I pulled this back out the other day and forgot how much I really enjoy it. Plus, this look that I'm doing today, I actually, was wearing the same exact makeup in my last vlog and I was going for something a little bit more neutral for me on the cool side. It might not be on the cool side for some of you, but I don't typically wear cool toned like shadows or makeup or anything. And this is definitely my more 
neutral toned bronzer. It's still warm, but it's not as warm as some of my other uh, bronzers that I have. It's definitely the most cool out of the bunch, so I decided to use this. But I really, really like the Hourglass bronzers. They never fail me. They always wear beautifully, go on beautifully, and just work so, so well for me. And then this is just the MAC 135 brush. It's my favorite brush to use with most of my Hourglass bronzers. The only bronzer that I don't use that with is Luminous Bronze Light because that one is definitely the most warm and that this MAC 135 brush picks up a lot of product, um, at least with the Hourglass bronzers, so I have to be careful or that one can make me look a little orange. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and contour my nose. I've been bringing my uh, bronzer up to my brow in a little into the crease just to kind of make everything just blend a little bit better. I take a large stipple brush and I go over all of my bronzer so that if anything is a little too dark or a little too harsh, it kind of just melts everything together. I cannot do my makeup without going over everything with a stipple brush. It's a must have for me. For blush, I'm gonna use another Hourglass product. This is another blush that I have not used in forever, but it's so beautiful. It's the shade Mood Exposure. This is one of my favorite blushes, especially in the fall and winter. It's just a pretty plummy color. So pretty. This is the Morphe blush brush, it's the E4. It just adds such a pretty color to the cheeks. For highlighter, I'm using the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01. I have this sweet little mini, but there's a ton of product in here. This highlighter is just so pretty, but I can only wear it if I am doing like more of a neutral look. I can't wear this highlighter if I am doing any sort of warm makeup look because it is a cool toned highlighter. So it just doesn't look right if I wear it with too many warm, warm toned shades, if you know what I mean. My base is pretty much done powder wise, but I'm going to go over it with the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder in the shade two. Um, I have been using this along with my Hourglass products or Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powders a lot lately. Um, it just really blurs the face and just adds a beautiful natural looking radiance to the skin. Absolutely love it. And I've had this brush for a long time, um, but I hadn't been using it because I I didn't really know what to use it for, but it is perfect for dusting one of these sheer glow powders or the ambient lighting powders onto the face. It's the Sephora Pro Flawless Light Powder Brush number 50. It's got the long bristles and it's nice and fluffy and soft and it applies things in a sheer way. So I feel like it's perfect for topping off your face with those kind of powders. So my base is done. Now that my blush and my bronzer's on, we're matching my shoulders a little bit better. So we're gonna move on to the eyes and I am going to do a super simple, very neutral, trying to stay away from a lot of warm tones for today's look. Just a super simple eye um, with winged liner. This look would be just perfect for every day. Perfect for work. Um, you name it, it's gonna be good for it. So I'm gonna start with this cream shadow here and I'm gonna put that all over. So that cream shade just creates a really nice base for the eye. And I'm gonna take that same brush, this brush is the Sigma E40, and I'm going to go into this gray taupe shade here and apply this into the crease. Okay, I just dusted that shadow all over the crease 
and up to the brow bone and then whatever was left over I just dusted onto the lid just I like to do that I feel like it helps the shadows blend together a lot easier and then I'm only gonna do one more color and that is it this is seriously the most simple eye ever I'm taking this Sigma blending e25 and I'm going to go into this shade here and I'm gonna put that on the outer corner and blend that into the crease as well back to the E40. I'm not putting any extra product and I'm just going to go over everything. Just do a little quick once over. That way if I missed anything or there was a stray line, it covers it up. I'm going to take the Morphe M431. It's like a pencil brush and I'm going to mix this gray taupe and then this brown and I'm just going to apply that on the lower lash line. deep palette does not have a shade that's very good for the brow bone so sometimes I will just leave it as is and um, stick with just this ivory color or I will use my highlighter and that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier highlighter with my Mac I never I don't know why I can never remember these names I'm pretty sure this is the 242 but it's been worn off so I'm gonna take that apply it to the brow bone and the inner corner. Do that on the other side. Now we gotta do the winged liner and I'm not gonna lie, I am really nervous to do this on camera because I'm afraid I'm gonna screw everything up. Okay, I'm going to curl my lashes first. I've been using liquid eyeliner lately, which is a total shocker because it is so not my game. I've gone so long without wearing eyeliner and I just started to do it, started to do it recently, but I've never been good at liquid liner. So I was at the, I think I was at Target and I was trying to find the smallest felt tip liner that I could find and I found one and it's been working out really well for me. It's the NYX. That's the point hella fine eyeliner. The tip on this is so small, but it's perfect if you are just starting out with your winged liner, you are, you know, nervous about using liquid, liquid liner, or you just like need something that's super duper precise. This is the eyeliner that you need. Look how tiny <laughs> that tip is but it is perfect for precise lining and if you are new to liquid liner. I'm nervous about doing this on camera because I can't really get super up close to my mirror, so we're gonna, we're gonna try. And I still pull my eye taut, I know you're not supposed to, but I have to. don't go all the way in because I don't want the eyeliner to bleed into my eye because I have pretty watery eyes so I have to be very careful about where I place eyeliner if I'm going to wear it but I would say that that is a pretty dang good wing for doing it on camera and being nervous about it now's the true test can we get it to match the other side If you need a liner, I've been practicing. I'm still not perfect, but I've been practicing, which is all that matters, guys, all that matters. I've been using a combo of mascaras. I've been using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise and then going over with the regular Voluminous Mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and speed through this because mascara application is boring. Mascara is done. I feel like this is such a good combo. And FYI, I only use the Voluminous 
mascara on my bottom lashes. Just the wand is smaller so it's easier and I don't get mascara everywhere. So I need to, first of all, I need to trim my brows because I've got like a super long straight one over here. Also have like a brush hair in my hair. So I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow in the shade three. I don't know how I still have product in this because I feel like I've had this tube for forever, but it's still chugging along. Still chugging along, but I can tell it's definitely um, drying out. So I need to pick another one up during the Sephora summer sale. I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. So for lips, I am going to do the Pillow Talk liner and lipstick set from Charlotte Tilbury. I just feel like it'll go really, really good with this look because this is a really nice neutral combo. This lipstick matches the blush too. So I think that's why I like it all together. We're gonna go ahead and set. And this is another thing that I need to pick up during the Sephora sale, the Urban Decay All Nighter. I only have about like four uses left in this. It's super low. And this is the final look. I really, really love this look. I feel like the skin looks great. The eyes look great. This is a super neutral look, so I feel like any skin tone can pull this off. And the eyes are a lot cooler than what I normally do, but I'm really loving it. I love the way that all of these products look together. And I feel like this is an appropriate look for so many occasions, whether you are just getting ready for a normal day, going to work, going out with your hubby or your girlfriends or your boyfriend or whoever it may be, being around family, things like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a new video that is going to come up in the next two weeks or so. I am going to start filming makeup of the week videos where I do my makeup every day Monday through Friday and I am not going to film the getting ready with me process but I'm going to show you the makeup that I'm wearing that day and the products that I used and things like that. I am excited to start doing something like that and when it gets cooler outside and the weather's not so hot because it's been in the triple digits here um, when we get more into fall and winter wear I'm thinking of doing outfit of the week videos as well. So if any of that sounds good to you be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye.